we go. If this is where we left off. The DP doesn't think it's really a double standard if there is such a thing. He thinks it's just a different one. On love and keeping journals. I've been thinking a lot these days about who might ever see my journals, about when and why they might get to see them. This is the only scenario I can really imagine right now. If my favorite woman is around before I have a chance to write a real story, if all I have to show for myself as an unpublished, self-declared writer are my journals, then I'll say something like this to her. I used to think I couldn't be loved unless I was being loved for, for me, but also for all the things I've written down on paper in my life. Now, though, I don't believe that, nor do I ever hope to again. Yes, I have some several, excuse me, yes, I have some several hundreds of pages now, maybe a thousand, and they're sitting over there on that desk. And do I want you to read them? I don't know. I know only this then I'm not going to ask you to read them. The fact is that they are on the table and I have to hold myself accountable for putting them there. I have to hold myself accountable for putting them there. Because I know, because I know you for who you are. I know you will only read it if you want to. And then only when you feel like it. And I will be loving you now and again, either which way, wherever you happen to be. on uncertainty, it's a, <clears throat> a frequent theme. Being 23 is fun like this. The only thing I know anything about is not knowing anything about anything. There is no certainty. There are no facts. It is not a comfortable knowing. on lighting off for other places. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I'll need a place soon, regardless. And I'll need to go to this place with a reason, as I sometimes think I've already found my purpose. That much I know, that much I know I need, and that much I know I need to know. And no, it isn't much, but it's all there is right now. on madness and seesaws. Sometime recently I wrote to my pen pal that my life is like a seesaw and I need someone to give me some weight and balance so that my end of the seesaw can be lifted up underneath me. I told her I feel like a mad child in the park who is jumping up and down at one end of the seesaw and wondering why nobody will play with me. on seesaws and madness. <clears throat> on seesaws and madness. Today, she told me she wants to come to the park. She does want to play, but she can only do so when she's ready. I'm totally beside myself, almost traumatized by a few nice words. I'm looking, I'm looking over at my reflection in the toaster. <clears throat> I'm looking over at my reflection in the toaster and I see a strange melancholy smile spreading across my chin. I think it just it, it should just end with with melancholy smile. I'm looking over at my reflection in the toaster and I see a strange mel melancholy smile. It's too early in the morning. I'm having trouble getting all the words out. Let's move on. On the disposable photographer's condition. Okay, so no. He's not particularly happy these days. He feels stuck. He feels distant. He is distant. He is stuck. He's not where he wants to be right now. And he doesn't really even know where that is. All he knows is that he's here and won't be able to go anywhere until he gets a new job and makes some traveling money. His knee could be better. He has no job, no money, no car, no plans. And no, he doesn't really have a woman either. 
He has a pen pal, and it's killing him. What the hell? He's supposed to be in his prime. He's 23 years old. But nope, not today is not. It is becoming very difficult for the DP to justify being any distance from this girl. If she again says or writes anything to the effect of, though I'm here and you're there, the DP won't be able to stand the distance for another regretted day. He would like to say he will wait for the word, the invitation, whether subtle or outright, but he's starting to believe this word may be as real as if already been spoken, as if it, and <clears throat> as if it had already been spoken. He is starting to believe the word may have been drawn already, maybe by the inky shadows of their past conversation. He enjoys believing this. He is starting to believe out of his own necessity, perhaps, that, that the word has been spoken, although not quite actually spoken. Maybe the word, his permission as he's choosing to see it, has been colored in already, but maybe the letters have no definite outlines. It's just that he can't wait for it for what he's sometimes sure he may have gotten already. Maybe invitations can invite responses without ever being sent. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything today. He should probably take a long walk to figure all this out. He's really fucking tired of all this speculating. On being a little off balance. Let me just say this, for my peace of mind, get me back to the seesaw, the seesaw thing. I actually think it's more fun, more exciting than all runs, to be a little off balance at one end of the seesaw instead of sitting sideways in the middle. Sometimes 70 degrees feels too much like 70 degrees. Likewise, sitting in room temperature is always an unsettling experience. It is nothing compared to cold and hot. on extraordinarily inspirational statements about life and death. Excuse me. On extraordinarily ins inspirational statements about life and the world. Anyone who can remember how funny the world can be, even in the darkening drool of random violence and war, anyone who realizes that there are plenty of people out there who are making the most of things and having a decent time, we live in a fine mood just for knowing they're meaningless, precarious, but still mighty places in the world. They're meaningless, precarious, but still mighty places in the world. Yeah, baby. Cornholio. On base reactions to food, friends, drink, and movies. From deep in an after-dinner stupor, now mid-PM with another JB and Pepsi. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, done. Now Goodfellas. Food, food, food for thought. Whatever, for hunger, for laughs. For maybe no good reason besides all things packaged and delivered in big bad laughs and, and giggling snorts. Big bad laughs and giggling snorts. And here we are, looking ahead for models, looking again for models of character. And the last movie has told us that we need look no farther than, excuse me. And here we are looking again for models of character. And the last movie has told us that we need look no further than Mr. Pacino. These are the sounds that relax men's souls. On the promise of a new day. Tomorrow, you're a good friend. You give me a new fantasy of myself, every time. All right, one more, uh, one more entry. It's about half a page and it's a good one. <clears throat> On a few good quotes and the birth of a brilliant first novel. Quote, but a parchment, contract, written up and stamped, is a specter from which, from which all men shrink. The word dies in the very pen that writes it, and wax and leather remain sovereign. End quote. Quote again. Time is short and art is long. It seems to me that you should let yourself be instructed, 
associate yourself with some poet and let that gentleman's thoughts go roving. Have him heap all noble qualities upon your honored plate. Excuse me, upon your honored pate. The lion's courage, the stag's fleetness, the Italian's fiery blood, the northerner's stead, excuse me, the northerner's steadfastness. Let him find for you the secret of combining magnanimity and cunning and how with warm, useful. Let him find for you the secret of combining magnanimity and cunning and how with warm, youthful desires you can fall in love in accordance with a plan. End quote. That's Mephistopheles from von Goethe's Faust. This isn't about an undiscovered cool place or a thing long since forgotten and underappreciated. Nor, of course, is it a thing about a sexy, excuse me, nor, of course, is it a thing about a place or a thing that is currently chic, currently chic, popular, or new age sexy. This is a thing about a guy, a new American man, a new humble superhero, a new irresistible martyr. And yes, it is a thing still in the making.